All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of these Eastern Standard Provisions Company art artisanal soft pretzels. All right, so normal price of this, twelve fifty nine. It was three sixty off, so basically um, nine dollars. Let's go ahead and take a look. It includes three signature toppings: three cheese pretzel salt, French toast sugar, and classic pretzel salt. Okay, here you go. Here's the net weight, 1.08 kilograms, 2.39 pounds, 38.14 ounces. Keep frozen. There are four wheelhouse pretzels, six uh, turnbuckle sticks, and 22 one-timer bites. Interesting. I thought that there was something filled inside, but I guess it's like something you just put on top. Anyways, here you go. Love every bite. The time, effort, and unwavering commitment we put into crafting our artisanal products defines Eastern Standard provisions because when it comes to snacking, we believe you should love every bite. The Eastern Standard provisions team. Okay, there you go. They got some pictures of their pretzels with stuff in it. Interesting. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and Twitter, or X at eProvisions. Okay, heat and eat. Our fresh baked artisanal soft pretzels are ready to heat and eat. Preheat oven <clears throat> to 350 Fahrenheit. Oven temperatures may vary, so heating times are guidelines. To heat, place uh, pretzels on a non-stick baking sheet or parchment paper. Brush with water, butter, or olive oil, and sprinkle with salt or sugar, optional. Bake pretzel until they are heated through and enjoy. All right, temperature time, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, at Eastern Standard Provisions, we know the best things in life are made with care. That's why we've spent years handcrafting our soft pretzel recipe using the highest quality ingredients. The result, this, the result is a light, airy brioche style inside with a traditional Bavarian style crust for a one-of-a-kind soft pretzel experience. Let me actually go preheat the oven because it only cooks in an oven. All right, give me a second. I'll be back. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Includes our signature three cheese pretzel salt and French toast sugar, plus our classic pretzel salt uh, for plenty of flavor in every bite. All right, not really much else here. Some pictures of stuff. Okay, and where's that? Here we go. This was purchased October 11th, 2023, and it says Best Buy October 4th, 2024, so basically a year. Here are the nutrition facts, okay. Um, okay, so they have for each different one, uh, the wheelhouse is 310 calories per serving, turnbuckle is 110, and the one-timer is 180. Wait, which is which? Okay, so I'm assuming this giant one's the wheelhouse, turnbuckle, and one bite. Why is the one bite have... Huh? Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so 4 ounce, 113 grams. This is 1.5 ounce, 110 grams. And this is 5 bites, the one timers. That's why the calories are higher. I was so confused. Okay, so 310 calories per wheelhouse, 110 calories per turnbuckle, and 180 calories for 5 bites. Okay, there's the amount of fat. 5 grams, 6% um, for that. 2 grams, 2% 2 for the turnbuckle. 3 grams, 4% for 5 bites. 0.5 grams saturated fat, 4% for the wheelhouse. Um, and then the other ones don't have saturated fat somehow. How's that possible? Is it just because the serving size is so small? I guess less than half a gram. Okay, then you got 560 milligrams of sodium for the wheel uh, wheelhouse one, 24%. And I'm pretty sure that's not including the salt and stuff you sprinkle on it, so keep that in mind. 210 milligrams uh, sodium for the turnbuckle, 9%. 340 milligrams of sodium 15% for 5 bites. Carbs, 54 grams, 20% for the wheel. 20 grams, 7% uh, for the um, turnbuckle. And then uh, 32 grams, 12% for 5 bites. 2 grams of fiber, 7%. One, less than 1 gram fiber, 3%. And 1 gram fiber, 4%. I'm just going to quickly go over it now. Uh, 2 grams sugar, less than 1 gram sugar in the turnbuckle. And 1 gram sugar in the 5 bites. All right, includes... I guess everything is just added sugars, so none of the ingredients have sugar unless they added it, so all added sugars, 4%, 2%, 3%, and yeah, 
that's the stuff. There is some iron, 15%, and potassium, 2%, in the wheel, 6% iron um, in the turnbuckle, and then 10% iron in the five bytes, and 2% of potassium. Okay, so here are the ingredients. <coughs> Let me turn off the flash, see if that helps. There we go. So the ingredients are for the pretzels, wheat flour, water, soybean oil, granulated sugar, salt, enzyme, uh, yeast, and white vinegar. It contains wheat, obviously. And our pretzels are made in a dedicated nut-free facility. All right. The three cheese pretzel salt, French toast, sugar, and classic pretzel salt nutrition information is on the packets themselves. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. I guess, oh, they designed the sticker to tear. It actually tore, but then I peeled it off. All right, anyways, let's open this up and let's see. So the pretzels, they actually just come out like this. Oh, that's nice, okay. So each thing is individually packaged, so you don't have to open up the whole thing. I was worried it was gonna be a big bag of pretzels. The bites do come in like a whole bunch pack. The turnbuckles also come in a whole bunch pack, so you can't reseal that, that's gonna be annoying. Okay, and then we got the different seasonings. It looks like there's only one packet of each, which that's also going to be annoying. Um, I'm probably just going to cook up one of these wheels in that case. And then, yeah, because I don't want to open like one of these big packs of stuff and then worry about it. So we'll cook up one of the wheels. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, Eastern uh, Standard Provisions Company Pretzel Salt, 0.5 ounces, 14 grams. And this is, yeah, we believe the best things in life are made with care. Uh, our pretzel salt pairs perfectly with our artisanal products and so much more. Here you go. Nutrition facts. Um, this should basically just be sodium. 786 milligrams, 34% daily value. And yeah, nothing else. Um, serving size is half a teaspoon. So make sure you don't pour this whole packet. That's way more than half a teaspoon. Okay. Then we got the <coughs> French toast sugar. All right, serving size also half a teaspoon, nine calories per serving. So because this is sugar, they have to have calories here. Um, <coughs> carbs, two grams, less than 1%. Sugar, two grams, which is added sugar, two grams, 4%. Okay. All right, then we got the three cheese pretzel salt. 0.32 ounces, 9 grams. Did I not read this one? The sugar one, 0.32 ounces, 9 grams as well. Okay. <clears throat> so nutrition facts. Uh, serving size, also half a teaspoon. Amounts uh, per serving, 9 calories. Uh, there is 106 milligrams of sodium, 5% daily value. 1 gram of carbs, less than 1% daily value. And you got... Calcium, 1%, and that's pretty much it. Ingredients are Parmesan blue and white cheddar cheeses, cultured milk, sea salt enzymes, whey, sea salt, buttermilk, black peppercorns, parsley, garlic, pretzel salt, and contains dairy, no artificial flavoring. Processed in a facility that contains nuts, so be careful with that. And this is Best Buy, August 10th, 2026, 28, I don't know. Um, but anyways, it'll last, <clears throat> it'll last longer than the pretzels, so, yeah. Um, oh, these also have Best Buy. It's just really hard to see it. So this one, August 3rd, 2025. Okay. So maybe this is supposed to be 2025. I don't know. August 10th. And this one, does this, I mean, it's just salt. I don't think salt expires. All right. Yeah, there's no expiration date for salt. Okay, so anyways, <coughs> these are labeled for individual retail sale, apparently. But I don't know, once you sell these pretzels, they won't have... Okay, this one doesn't have its own label. So you can't sell the bit bites by itself. But uh, this has its own UPC code. And this has its own UPC code. Alright, so you can resell these. They have the heating instructions here. Right, 425, uh, 400, wait, is it different? <clears throat> this thing says 350. So I guess each pretzel has its own cooking instructions, so you want to make sure. K, 
okay? And if you thought it, it says to cook at 400. Place pretzels on non-stick baking sheet. Brush pretzels with water, uh, butter, water, or olive oil, and sprinkle with your choice of artisanal salt or sugar. Bake thawed pretzel three to five minutes or frozen pretzel six to eight minutes. Remove uh, until heated through. Remove from oven and enjoy. Here they have their own nutrition facts. Um, we already read the nutrition facts. Hopefully it's exactly the same. Um, but yeah. There you go. Just in case you want to see that. And this one. <clears throat> Again, these have their own packaging. Perishable heat and eat now or freeze for later. Here are the heating instructions for here. It says 425. Why did it say 350? And the nutrition facts and stuff. The box says 350. Is that just for the bites? Preheat oven 350. Oven temperatures may vary, so heating to heat place pretzels on a non-stick. It doesn't say. Anyways, I'm gonna I guess I'll change the oven to 425 degrees then. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and open this up. It said to brush it with like water or whatever. I just got a paper towel and I'm just gonna put water on it with the paper towel, okay? And this is just to make it sticky so the salt and stuff will obviously stick to it. Okay, oh, it's drying pretty quick. So I guess I gotta do this super quick and maybe wet it right away and then pour some of this stuff on, okay? So I'll open this packet. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this because there's no way I'm going to use this all at once. And how do you store this again? Okay. Um, oh, it's... Okay. So we're going to pour some of this on there. It's not really sticking. This is... Oh, this is just the salt. I'm going to try and put a lot more water. Okay. So this is just salt. That's probably too much. All right, I'm gonna try and just space it out so each area has its own like thing. Okay. Oh, I probably got some salt on there now, but okay, whatever. Let's get the cheese. All right. It's hard to open this. Come on, why isn't it opening? I tore it open. Okay. Did they seal it below? They sealed it below the tear mark. Okay, give me a second. I need something to cut this open. Actually, I think I have some scissors here. Let's see if these will cut it. Okay. Okay. They, they, give me a second. I'll be back. Okay. I think now I'm ruining the pretzel. I'm just going to put some water on it and sprinkle this cheese stuff on it. Okay, and then we got the last one here. Yeah, they melted the seal below the tear mark. This one doesn't even have a tear mark. They don't want you to eat the sugar. <laughs> okay, I had to cut one open because it didn't come with one. Let's sprinkle some water on here. Okay, now yeah, let's get this on it. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm going to put it in the oven now, and then we'll see you guys over there. Okay, so we're going to bake this for about eight minutes. So let's go ahead and put eight minutes on the clock. Since it's been out while I was reading everything. All right, and then we'll see you guys when it's done. All right, so it's ready. Let's see. Hopefully it didn't burn because we put it at the higher temperature that it told us to. On the packaging, that's what it looks like, and it does look somewhat burnt. Let me get an oven mitt or something to get that out, and yeah. All right, so here's the pretzel. Looks kind of burnt. Let's see if I can try each flavor individually. Obviously, there's a normal salt one here. Can I even break it? Okay, it's ooh, super hot. Okay, I'm gonna get scissors to cut this, and I'll be back. All right, let's cut this up. So I'm just going to, oops, separate the three types of stuff that I put on here. Okay. Ooh, hot. Okay, so this is going to have to sit quite a while. I think I accidentally got stuff mixed in. Let me let it cool down a bit. And then I guess these I can try and like just put a little water or butter and then just pour the stuff on it. Um, I'd rather 
somewhat dip it than pour it on, but let's see. Okay, so this is the just regular salt. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Good. The one thing... The one thing I like about this is you get to adjust how much salt. Usually when I go to get pretzels that are already salted, they put way too much salt. But with this, you can adjust how much you want. Mm-hmm. The outside's very nice and crispy, and the inside's very nice and soft. Nice textures. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, the cheese one. You can see burnt sugar over here from the cinnamon one. Okay. Pretty sure this was the cheese one. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Hmm. Nice flavor. Salty. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer this over the plain salt. Last but not least, the cinnamon sugar. You can see the sugar melted and then solid re-solidified on top. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. That's my favorite. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, very nice. I like it. Um, <clears throat> if you don't like pretzels because usually they overdo the seasoning, this is actually perfect for you. You can adjust it however much you want. You can even just eat it as plain bread. Mm -hmm. Let's try it as plain bread. As you can see here. Look at that. It's super steamy, actually. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Oh, there we go. And let's give this a try. Hmm. Definitely need something. <laughs> or, I mean, it tastes a lot better with stuff, obviously. So, we'll get that salt. Mm-hmm. Not really much else to say about it. <clears throat> Very nice. Good tech. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Good texture. Good flavor. <clears throat> you can adjust it to your taste. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoy this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. You can also obviously put your own dips and whatever seasonings on top you want. All right. Bye for now.